All right, what's good, y'all? So, um, oh, I'm Bam Lush. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I'm Bam Lush. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am going to be reacting to the OG, my good sis, Royalty's World. Um, I don't usually react to her videos, however, um, she is talking about, um, well, the title says, Essie went off on everybody about posting legacy. Now, um, I felt inclined to react to this specific video about Essie and whatever is going on, um, because I find myself well-versed in this area of single motherhood. So when I say single mother, I mean single mother, as in no names on the birth certificate. That's how single. Not, oh, we just broke up. No. Single, single, okay? So I have an interesting point of view that I would like to share if this video allows me to. I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. <clears throat> now I'm going to preface saying that this is not me bashing any other mother. This is not me bashing any other woman. This is me simply stating my experiences and commenting on whatever will be presented in this video. Um, from keeping up with some of the videos before that Royalty has posted before I started my channel. Um, it's been an interesting ride for the whole dynamic of Armand, Essie, and Legacy splitting up and just finding her footing and finding her balance and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see what has happened on Twitter because from what I've seen before, she do be going off on Twitter. So, I just want to see and see if I can give any type of advice in this area. Because when you break up with someone that you thought you were going to be with for the rest of your life or whatever was going through her mind, their minds when they were together. Um... Yes, I broke up with my people before my child was born. But you don't envision yourself bringing a child into the world by yourself. You don't envision yourself taking care of a child um, majority of the time by yourself. Now, we know that Armand is a very great dad. But we also know that he is in another state. So, 90% or... Well, 90% of the daily legwork falls upon Essie. I understand that. I take care of my kids 24-7 by myself. With the help of my mother, of course, but by myself. So, I get how that can be um, frustrating. I get how that can come off as... Well, I, I get how that can fester as bitterness and anger. Because, like I said, nobody plans on bringing a child into the world and taking care of the child by themselves. So I get it. Um, I, I truly, from what has been presented, what I see, because, you know, I do have a life. I do have children to take care of. I'm not able to being all the tea all the time but from what i see the co-parenting dynamic has been um an interesting one but armand has been handling it with class when i say that i mean he has not been posting um i'm sorry my sister texted me about her part apartment but he hasn't been Posting any messages, hasn't been like really speaking on any of the quote unquote negative things or feelings that might be happening. Um, he just, you know, thugs it out and does what he needs to do to get his daughter. Now, one thing 
I will say that, again, I have not watched the video yet, guys. This is just me and what I've seen play out since they have broken up on both ends. One thing, I, I do believe that he has considered or is still considering is moving closer to Legacy. And I think that is a wise decision on his behalf. Um, I think it would just alleviate a lot of stress on both sides. Um, of course, Essie and her family will have to be open and more receptive to him being closer and having her more because I know as a parent, when, how do I put this? When you put all of your eggs in one basket, meaning your child, when you put all of your feelings, all of your purpose, all of your being, all of your everything into your child, it is very hard to let them go, to let the other parent parent, to let the other family parent um, help you, to let other people help you in that area. You want to hold on so tight, and it's my, 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 mine, and it's not yours. The child is not yours. The child, the God is letting you borrow that child. He just orchestrated, picked you to bring this person into the world so you can help him cultivate that person for the world. It is not your child. This is for any mother that is out here listening. I had to learn it. My mother had to learn it. It is a learning lesson for every mother because we incubate our children in our bodies. We are the first heartbeat they hear. They are the first. We feel them before anybody else feels them. We know them before anybody else knows them. So it is very hard to relinquish that control and that feeling of I have to protect, I have to protect, I have to protect. But sometimes when you are jaded by your feelings and your process of grief, because it is a form of grief when you break up with the father of your child, when you break up with the person that you envisioned your life with, that is a form of grief. When you do that and you mix those two together, it becomes a very... Um, rocky road for both parties involved, including the child. The child can feel that. Now y'all wondering, okay, why is she going off on this tangent? Like, just play the video. I just need y'all to understand that I get it. I get it. I went through it twice. I have two different fathers, two different children. The first one, I was madly in love with him. He was not my person. I chose him. And we shouldn't have had our sons, but we did. Well, I did. And he's here. And I love him. The second one, he caught me on a rebound. He caught me when I was in my grieving process. Let's talk about it. He called me when I was in my grieving process and my healing process and I was triggered by rejection because that was something that I had to deal with because there's underlying reason, there's underlying things to this. It didn't just, it wasn't just, oh, oh, we got together, we had a baby and we're supposed to be together for the rest of our lives, but he left me, he got a new girlfriend, and now I'm stuck with the kid. No, 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 this is the harsh reality. Women, we have a choice. We have a choice on who we lay down with and who we create babies with. We have a choice. We have a choice on how we show up and how we love on our partners because that can be a problem too. We have a choice. It is not just the man's fault. So I don't want to sit here and I don't want y'all to think that I'm just bashing one side because it really has nothing to do with Armand, Essie, and Legacy and all of them because 
This is a common dynamic in the Black community, colored community, every day. Every day. They are just being, they're just on a pedestal to where everybody wants to talk about it. It happens every day, y'all. So, I just needed to preface that. I know it was 10 minutes long, but I just needed y'all to understand that I am here to give words of wisdom and encouragement and um, open minds and hearts to other scenarios and reasons. So, I'm sorry, but I had to. Because I know how these titles go, especially when Essie is in it. Everybody just wants to bash her. And that's not what this is. I wouldn't be able to sleep well at night because I'm a single mother. And I understand the grieving process and how it might feel like the world is against you. And that he's living his married freaking life. And now you got to take care of the kids. I get it. I understand. However... Everybody has accountability in these situations. And I just want everyone to take accountability for their actions and how they're playing their part in this scenario. Because he wants his child. It's not like he's a deadbeat. It's very clear how much he loves his child. I know a deadbeat when I see one, okay? He is not one. So... I'm going to get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And we got the video in. So, I just want to talk to y'all real quick about okay. something. Um, <coughs> it's about Ooh. Essie. Excuse me. And I want to say, first of all, this is... I don't feel like I've disrespected her ever, so let's just make it clear. But let me just state in the beginning, quick disclaimer. This ain't no disrespect. I genuinely want to react to her Twitter comments that she's been making lately. Um, she kind of cussed everybody out yesterday, <laughs> and um, I want to I want to talk to y'all about that. Mm -hmm. Y'all, not the names in the comments, so I'm gonna have to take y'all off the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take y'all off the screen, okay? But listen, um, now, Essie, <laughs> Essie can do a bit much, okay? She be asking for it, don't need to ask for it. Then when it's given to her, mm -hmm. you know, she likes to show her ass. But um, let's get into this video, child, because Essie crazy. Okay. <laughs> now, y'all telling me to keep it real. I do keep it real. Y'all know damn well I'm going to keep it real, okay? So the first tweet. See, okay, hold on. I don't know what. Okay, y'all, so I just saw the tweet before this. And it said, my legacy. Happy holidays from my legacy and I. That just touched on what I just said. It's not your, you're her mother. But she's not your legacy. First of all, it took two people to create her. Second of all, she would not be here without God. So I think we just have to, as parents, as, as, as human beings who are still healing and raising humans at the same time, it is very hard. I think we just need to be very conscious of the wordings that we use because she's not yours. If that makes sense. She's your child. You birthed her. But she's not yours. Like it just sounds very possessive. And dismissive to God. And dismissive to her father. Who helped create her. So I'm going to just leave that right there. What old ass auntie. Granny or what dusty ass. B-I-T-C-H need to hear this. But don't post my child and disrespect her mother at the same time. I can't I not when it comes to my kid. Now, one thing about me, y'all, I don't do the whole, like, take someone's side all the time. Like, that's not, 
That's not me. Yeah, you shouldn't she disrespect right. the child. Because the problem is, I mean, the mother and then post about the child. Baby mama, though. Legacy's mom is Essie. She ain't wrong for that. The internet got some weird ass B I T C A B H T C H E S acting tough. And I have yet to meet one in person. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Essie, you are four foot nothing, friend. Don't be trying to pick a fight. I just think that's crazy because <clears throat> you just asking for an ass whooping at this point. But tighten up when it comes to my kid. <clears throat> did she keep the comments up? Oh. No, she did not. And the nerve of her to do that and not keep the comments up. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I feel as though she always do that though. She's right. I mean, nobody should she is right. be trashing her and, and then praising the other side, you know, which is our mom. But right. when she do shit like this, she be asking for it. I can't even lie. She be asking for it. Because nobody called out Essie to say anything. Exactly. Okay, be very clear. Happy holidays for me and legacy to our supporters. Um now I thought and I, I still kind of feel like they're um what you call uh, their co-parenting has been going pretty good. Um, right. I made she said that recently, I made Legacy Dad order, order all the toys, so I won't have hella mess and toys over here. And somebody sent it to me, and I was like, she ain't wrong. I mean, she nice lit. First of all, what I hear and what I see is that A, That's good. he is getting his daughter. That is number one for me. I want that man to have his child. He miss her so much, and it shows. Yes. And, um, I want her to get a break. I want her to get a break and some dick. She needs a break, y'all. That's what I want her to get. A break. She a needs. Dick. Okay, so. Um... I'm sorry. Y'all gonna be annoyed by this video, but I, I just need to be very intentional about this video because I don't want y'all to get anything misconstrued. Essie needs a break. And you want to know how I know? Because I have my children 24-7. So I understand how... Trying to grow as a woman, mourning the loss of my relationship. I'm in the public eye, so that's even more just mess on top of it. Um, trying to figure out the co-parenting process, seeing my my now ex man be elated with another woman that he not just met, but in a new relationship, like. It's a lot. And then I have to wake up at the crack of dawn with my child and care for her and love on her and, and show her that mommy's okay and hide the tears and hide the sadness and all of that and hide the anger and all of that. And then I got to wake up and do it again every day. It's a lot. And that's why she be lashing out. Excuse me. Does that make it right? No. But she does need a break. And she needs more than a two-week, one-week break. She needs to let Legacy go over there for more than a month. Really a good, solid two months. Three, if, if she could do it. Two to three months. So she can really just go head first into her healing, head first into herself, her self-care, head first into what her purpose is, what she wants to do, map that out, have conversations with God. So by the time Legacy comes back, she's a whole new person. She's happier. She's lighter. She's healthier. She's all of those things. And she is ready to tackle motherhood the way that she needs to. Not saying that she isn't. But I'm telling y'all, she needs a break. And she needs to let Armand take her. Well, I don't really know the dynamic. But Legacy needs to go there for more than a month. She needs a good two to three months. No, Wake up when she feels like it. Do what she needs to do. Take care of her business. Take care of her body, her mind, her soul, her spirit. She needs to do that. I'm telling you, it will it will be like night and day if she just let Legacy go there for a while. I promise you. Because, honey, I only got like what, five days by myself and I feel so much better. I wish I could send my children to the other side of the family for a month. Packs bags in 2.2 .2 seconds, okay? I just need to say that because she 
Let me get out one. With this, it shows me that they're co-parenting to the, to the best of their ability. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> he's able to get his child. You know what I'm saying? Um, she probably got hella toys over there already. You know what I'm saying? So now he about to have hella toys at his house. And if he has hella toys at his house, that means he gonna be seeing his daughter more. Mom. So that is amazing. I think that that's a great thing. I don't have nothing bad to say about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just feel as though like people gotta understand that they don't compare y'all. We, I mean, I just don't see the point in in going in on her. Aside from you know, sometimes she run them out a little too much. Mm. She do. Um. She said, I never want to experience what I did this year. 2023 is personal for me. So every day will be, um, every day will be one that counts. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Start now, you know? Um, I just feel as though, Amen. um, I, I feel like she has great potential and she I feel does. like she could have even more potential if she, A, would film more, but B, yeah. It ain't no fun if the whole family can't get none. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though she should move back a little closer. Let that man get his baby more yeah. often. Start going outside because you don't have a child. Yeah. Like, stop playing against them more than mm -hmm. working with them. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was in her position, my baby daddy winning and he got a new girlfriend that's winning, I don't want his motherfucking ass and I know damn well he don't want me. But we have a child to share. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I make this thing work out for me. Exactly. You know I mean? It got to work out for me. I don't, yeah. we're not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? Why would you trick yourself out your position? You know what I'm saying? So, on that topic, of course, everything is in the time frame that you feel that you can handle it, right? Because she is still going through her healing process and their relationship what I mean, it wasn't fast to them and God, but to someone who is left single, it seems fast. You get what I'm saying? So I understand um, the not collaborating at this point. However, I think that it would be really dope to see okay first let me let me i'm trying to word it word it right this is gonna be a long video because i'm really trying to be intentional with the words that i'm using it would be really cool okay so y'all know how jess hilarious and her baby daddy did like the co-parenting videos a while back and now their relationship is like so cool and dope I think because Essie and Armand were such a public relationship and a public in the a public relationship that it would be cool and beneficial to the pockets if they did something to where they did a couple videos where they came together. Now, will it all be roses and dandy? No, because there's two human beings with real feelings that are still working it out. So, no, it won't be roses and dandy. However, I think it would be therapeutic for them and therapeutic for their pockets. Now, if they don't want to go about it that way, because I know Armand is very private when it comes to just like um tumultuous situations i hope i said that correctly um do 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 some type of videos where like okay hey i'm about to do a video on this topic like just letting you know because if you get back like da 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 da, da and do something on your own do film therapy sessions um like there's a way that she can get her bag and heal at the same time and not step on other people's relationships and toes in a nasty way there's a way but i'm going to go back to what i said everybody's grieving process is different 
So right now she's probably not caring about that. Maybe she doesn't care to do YouTube like that anymore because that's something that they did together. I don't know. It might bring up some, you get what I'm saying? So those are just my little ideas. Um, she could start a podcast. Like there's so many ways that she can capitalize off of this moment before the public really doesn't care about her and turn it into something positive and healing for herself and for other moms who are going through this situation. But it starts with being honest with yourself first and it starts with being honest with God and having those real hard talks. And maybe she's not ready for that. Maybe she doesn't want to share that. I don't know. And I feel as though she do it every time she put a damn foot in her mouth. But the things that she have said today, I don't think was that, or in these past couple of days, I don't think was that damn bad. Um, she ain't said nothing about Armand bad. She basically said, y'all, don't, don't fucking, just like I told y'all, these YouTubers allow you, and when I say allow, that's real. They allow you yeah. to post their videos. These YouTubers don't have to let you post their videos right yeah. And do reactions and shit. They don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So here y'all are talking greasy about her. You know what I'm saying? And I've reacted to her. And I've had... I, t I speak about what goes on in that video. And if you're tripping, I'm going to call your ass out on it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if you're not, just like now, I don't feel like she said anything wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't... I don't ride the person I feel that's right. I don't yeah. feel as though nobody else can be wrong. I... I just never been that person. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? And in this situation, I don't feel like she was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But if she quit playing with herself and work with him instead of against him, I feel like 2023 would be way better. Yeah. <clears throat> Not posting legacy on social media like I once did has made life easier and more peaceful. Protecting my baby and my peace at all costs. Amen. Well, she ain't going to be doing what I just said. With, who who bothering her? You must be talking to them in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um, she said, like, "Who bothering her?" I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. bother this woman at all. I, I, feel I think like she's just still she going through her process. To be whatever she want to be. Is it? She looks okay. pretty. What's that called? Glam brand. That's pretty. That is a beautiful woman. She is a pretty woman. That's a nice bitch. That is a nice picture. I ain't gonna cap. That's a nice picture. How's she getting 57K views? It only got a couple subscribers. Scroll down and more, read her tweets. All right. That's a beautiful picture, though. No yeah, cap. it is. All right, let me. I don't know. She, I think she's just, just stuck in the whirlwind. And she just okay. needs to go to the drawing bar with God. Words. How to capitalize off of this? They tell me she loves me now. Is this real right now? <clears throat> when the silence, I can't see me rebuilding a bridge that I didn't burn. Okay, a hug from Legacy do it for me every time. My daughter is pure joy. I'm always cold. I'm sick of it. Never let the crown turn you into the joke. I love the way you carry yourself. It's such a top tier compliment. Here without venting to anyone that's lonely and sad <clears throat> and long. But grieving alone will be the best decision you make. No, it's not. And truly, you're not alone. God is by your side. Mm -hmm. Let God handle. No, no. What she's saying, well, how I'm interpreting, is don't share with the world, as in going to Twitter and all of that, to vent. However, grieving alone is not the best. I'm telling you right now, you need at least one friend, one person, one homegirl, homeboy, whatever that has been around that understands you so you can just talk your shit. Sometimes you just have to call somebody up and talk your shit, yell, cry, all of that. You cannot keep that to yourself. Of course, always pray to God first. Always talk to him first. But we are human beings. We have human emotions. And you need to get that out. Because if you don't get that out, you will think that you healed. 
because you're all this peace, love, and light. And then something along the lines will come and trigger your ass and you will be on the news, Channel 5, because you snapped. Because you didn't let that anger part out. You have to let the anger part out. I'm telling y'all right now. Please, if you don't, if you didn't hear me any anything else in this video, please, you have to let it out in a healthy, controlled, and safe environment. I am telling you this now. This is coming from someone who is not a violent person, who is not an angry person. But guess what? When I broke with them, broke up with them motherfuckers, oh, I had my angry moments and I had to get it out because when I didn't the first time around and I just wanted to take the high road and be, uh, I can't, oh, best believe the second time around, all of that triggered everything from the first and second time. Telling y'all, listen to me. Oh, uh, oh that listen favorite to trail turned you sour. Now that should need to look at them for itself. Spending money on my family feels great. My story is not going how they wanted it, and they hate that. <clears throat> they see you doing good now. It's kind of hard to dish you. Um, people will love you and support you when it's beneficial. I'm gonna forgive. I'm gonna forgive, but I'm. That issue. I don't know if you're pretty. You tell me to read and I don't see anything. Okay, so I'm done with this. I just needed. I just needed to share that. One, because I feel like it's my purpose to help other women who have found themselves in this situation of single motherhood, whether it be y'all were together had the baby with this lovely family and then y'all broke up or you ended up picking somebody who was deadbeat from the beginning and just wasn't around. Either way, I just feel like it's my duty to share the lessons that I have learned. And I don't know if Essie's ever gonna see this video. Um if you do, I pray that you hear my heart and you hear the intentions behind my words. I pray that whoever else is watching this that is a mother. I know this video is long for for me. But if you catch this video anytime in this lifetime and you are going through this grieving process of being by yourself and wondering if you should be by yourself and if you should leave this person if you should put up with what you're putting up with if you're not feeling fulfilled and you you have this feeling of okay like this can't be it it's not i'm telling you it's better to be by yourself it's better to be happy healed and whole in all areas of your life by yourself and trying to make something work with someone that is just not working with. So, I love y'all. My podcast is coming out soon. So, y'all can really, really understand what I'm talking about. I'm sorry that this video was so long. But I just, I just had to, I just had to, I had to say it the way God needed me to say it. And I pray I help somebody today. I pray. I hope somebody's point of view about the situation today. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I'm out of here. Like, comment, and subscribe.